All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can trigger two global variables at the same time using KLWP. Uh, this actually involves Tasker as well, so you have to have Tasker to do this, or at least this is the way that I've got it to work. And before you proceed forward, if you have not watched the other videos I've done on the Tasker and KLWP integration, you need to watch those. If you haven't watched the custom triggered action button video, make sure you watch that. And uh, very important too, if you have not watched the text global variable video I did on KOWP, definitely make sure you watch that as well. You definitely don't want to watch this video first if you haven't, if you're not familiar with how to integrate KOWP and Tasker, and if you're not familiar with the text global variable. Those two things are key. Um, the custom triggered action button, not a big deal, um, but it will help you become more familiar with the way things work inside of KOWP. Now, why do I want to trigger two global variables. Well, let me show you. Um, down here I have an error head and it's my doc. Now, for those of you that have been watching the videos and are familiar with KOWP, you're thinking, okay, this is just the on-off switch that you've made inside of KOWP. And actually, this is not. This is an on-off switch that I've made inside of Tasker. And I'll explain why in a few minutes, why I've created an on-off switch in Tasker. Um, you see the date and time showing up up here. Now, I have text global variables working right now to show my music. If I'm done looking at my music, maybe I want to see the weather. There's my weather. Maybe I want to see my battery status. There's my battery status. But if I'm done with these, suppose I want to know my date and my time, and that's what I want to see on my main screen, if you will. If I close my dock, this is where the two global variables are going to get triggered at the same time. Watch this. I'm closing my dock, and whatever was up there goes away. So now I'm back to my date and my time. So again, now this touching this arrow is actually what's triggering two global variables at the same time. One global variable is triggering this animation. That is an on-off switch. And then whatever I have showing up up here, it can be any of these things or whatever you decide to create. When you close your dock, it actually makes that go away and you're back to your quote unquote main screen. Now, let me show you how I created the on-off switch in Tasker. This is similar to doing a toggle. Um, the Bluetooth toggle, the Wi-Fi toggle. Uh, make sure you've seen those videos, but I'm going to show you quickly. I'm not going to go step by step now. But I created a variable. I called the variable toggles inside of Tasker. You can call it whatever you want. And then I created a task, and I called the task toggles as well. You don't have to call it the same thing. But this is an on-off switch. If the variable is equal to 1, set it equal to 0, send that to KLWP. Be careful when you send it to KLWP, make sure you're using percent and the variable name. That way it's going to send that variable's value. Um, the only two values that my variable can be here are a 1 and a 0, like an on and an off. You could use the words on and off if you'd like. I just prefer to use zeros and ones. But uh, make sure you type that in right there. You don't have to call it toggles down here. You can call it whatever you want. But again, I've, I've, I've covered that in detail in other videos. Um, but this is the on-off switch. If the percent toggles in Tasker is equal to 1, set it equal to 0, and send it to KLWP. If it's not equal to 1, that, that means else. What else happens? Otherwise, we do want it to be 1, and we want to send that to KLWP. And that's all you have to do inside of Tasker. Create that variable and type this stuff in. Now, I'm not going to go in step by step on how to do this because I did cover that in other videos. Um, so feel free to pause here and type that stuff in to create your on off switch inside of Tasker. Now, let's go inside of KOWP. What does that on off switch do? Remember at the beginning of the video, I said that on off switch inside of Tasker allows this dock to scroll. Okay? So um, here in my root folder, I guess I, just for the sake of this video, I could call this um, my doc because I'll be referring back to this a little bit more often. So doc, I know it's called stack group right now, but, but doc is the entire thing down here. You can't see the bottom of the doc because I have it set not to show right now. But inside of my doc, I want this entire doc to animate. Um, you might say, well, what is this text? This text is actually the arrow. But I don't, I don't want the arrow to just animate. I want the entire dock to animate. So animation. 
formula scroll. What formula? What's going to make this doc scroll? That's going to use the on off. So I'm reacting on a formula and I'm reacting based on that tasker variable we created, that on off switch. Remember, that thing can either be a zero or a one. And I'm saying, uh, make sure you're familiar with how to type in the broadcasting for variable and stuff like that. I've covered that in other videos. But if that tasker variable we created is equal to one, move the animation forward. If it's not, move it back. So basically, if it's a one, it's going to slide up. If it's not one, which means it's a zero, it will move back to the start. You could choose reset if you would like, but I like the smoothness. I like it to slide up, move forward, and I like it to slide back, move back. All right, so that's one piece that Tasker's getting used. Tasker is triggering that animation. But what else is happening? Back inside of my dock, the arrowhead. I know it says zero, but this is an icon font. This is where the thing, when I touch this thing, this is what's going to happen. Touch. When I touch this arrowhead, look at this. I'm triggering a shortcut and I'm triggering a toggle switch. What is my toggle switch? Let me go back to my globals, and all I have is one global variable here. This wallpaper, obviously, is nothing fancy. This is for demonstration purposes, but there's my text global variable, go. I'm not going to go into detail on how to do this because I did a whole video on the text global variable, so make sure you're familiar with that, but that is the toggle switch in KLWP. Going back into my dock, when I touch the arrow, I want to trigger that toggle switch go and I want to set that go to zero regardless of what it is. That text global variable could be a one, a two, a three, a four. It could be words. It could be like battery. It could be the word weather. It could be the word music. Whatever you have it set at, I don't care. When I touch that arrowhead, I want to set that text global variable to zero. And when I set that text global variable to zero, Whatever was showing up here, that's what's making it go away. So that's the one global switch. It's making this stuff go away. What's the other global switch? I showed you the animation of the entire dock. Remember that? The dock animation formula and that tasker global variable. When it's one, we want to slide it forward. If it's not one, we want to move it back. Well, what's triggering that? Also, when we touch the arrow. When we touch this arrow, that's going to be the task shortcut. This is how we're triggering two global variables at one time. The go will make everything up here go away, and the task shortcut, let me show you that, task shortcut, and I'm picking that task I created and I called it toggles, but that's that same thing you just saw a moment ago. So we're touching. When we touch that arrow, we're setting the text global variable to equal to zero. Also, when we touch that arrow, we're triggering this task shortcut. So we're touching it, and it's either going to make it a zero or it's going to make it a one. And it's going to send that variable to KLWP. And when it sends that variable to KLWP, the whole purpose of this is either to make that dock slide up or go back down. That's the only point of this on-off switch that I've created inside of Tasker. But hopefully you do see now why I didn't want to do two um, or do the on-off switch. I didn't want to make the on-off switch in KLWP because I'm using my toggle switch, go, that text global variable. I'm using that global variable that I created in KLWP for this piece, tasker for that piece. So hopefully that's making a little bit more sense. And as of right now, um, I don't see it. I know we just had a recent update, but I don't see the ability to toggle global switches, so to speak. Um, so that's why I picked shortcut and toggle switch. Tasker shortcut, on off switch technically, and then the toggle switch which is the text global variable. Again, make sure you have watched the videos that I mentioned earlier before proceeding. Um, hopefully you're not even watching that up to this point and you've already gone back and seen those anyway. But those are our two global variables. Now. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. Let me save this, go back to the home screen, and explain to you one more time what's really going on. When the dock animates, this is that tasker toggles variable I created. It's either a zero or one. 
and that zero or that one is triggering that animation scroll that I showed you a few moments ago. What triggers the dual piece, the, the two pieces happening at one time? If I have music, battery, weather, or whatever else you decide to show, if I have these showing and I close my dock, this is where you see the two global variables happening at one time. When I press this arrow, it's going to animate down, which is the task shortcut, but it's also going to set that text global variable to zero, which takes away whatever is showing up here. It doesn't have to be whether it could be battery or music, because that's how I have my text global variable set up for these animations up here. Again, that's covered in another video, but let me press it one more time for you. Two global variables getting switched right there. And there you have it. That's how you can trigger two global variables in KLWP using Tasker. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.